hello. Uh, since me, my Miyuki is almost done, now I'm moving to make the assist or support character uh, Tatsuya. And this Tatsuya actually is a main character. He have enough sprites to make a main character, but I didn't want to. It took too long time. Uh, but he will still got my treatment. Uh, as you may know, all my support character have in a uh, different uh, palette, even they are just support, support character. Um, actually, I'm searching around internet to see whether there is a finished Tatsuya. Uh, I found two. One is made by, uh, I think it's by the webmaster of Morgan Free for All. Another one is made by a Chinese uh, author. Uh, the Chinese author one doesn't have any palette. He just used the uh, sprites without any palette. Means the uh, P1 and the P2s have same color. And the uh, the Roy one, he is just uh, he have palette, but it's not sorted. Uh, so I think it's a good time to make a, a maybe t tutorial when I I when I'm making this palette. So I will show you how to make a palette from uh, scratch. First, we load these kind of sprite into Photoshop, and let's check whether this image have a palette or not. So this image is RGB color image which means it doesn't have a palette. Palette image should be indexed. Okay. So, in order to make a palette, uh, you need to make, make a custom image, something like this. So basically, you are trying to make a big picture contain uh, most of the uh, color. For example, this image only show the front of him and this image show back of him. But maybe, for example, in this image, this part of color is not shown on this image. So if you just use this image as a base, you will lost the color. So basically, you try to uh, cover him from the front, from the back, from the side, or maybe upside down. So all the color is in this single image. So after that, you're going to index this image, which is convert to uh, 256 colors. So here, usually I choose this local, this one. And make sure the Met and desert is set to none okay. and transparent check this box the focus is black and white make sure the color is 256 so after that this is a indexed image this is the index image already so this is all the color this image have, but the problem is it's not sorted. You see, if it's not sorted, uh, it's very hard to adjust this color and make other palettes. So that's why I won't take the work from uh, uh, Ryan. Okay, let's save this image. Make sure the format is PNG. And close it. Then we go to the uh, Fighter Factory 
we are going to sort the color. Uh, we just use a empty template so we can access the functionality of the sprites. So we import one sprite which is not this one. Not Miyuki. Tatsuya, which is the uh, okay. Did I save somewhere else? save somewhere else it's here oh it lost the extension name we'll rename it PNG okay no problem yeah here So give it any number. So this is the image we are going to work with. So make sure you click here, which is the sprites. And you click here, and you can work on the uh, colors. So basically we are going to sort the colors. Usually we are going to start from the, uh, the top for example this uh, hair okay, we are going to detect where is the hair here here and we are going to move it to here so after you move right after you move we are going to set into a not unusable color okay so for example i can to use yellow that means this color is being moved and here go to here so this is used Okay, then uh, one, two, three, four. Where's the fourth one? Here is the first one. Okay. So this will be used. Okay, now we have uh, air. Um, maybe I should also. So, hold oh no, on, not here. Set the color on. Okay, good enough. Uh, these are all unused slots. Okay, 
these are empty slot here the yellow are empty slot so this is here but here usually we are going to give it another color but I don't know uh, next we will dealing with the uh, maybe eyebrow So the eyebrow is put here. Mm. And this one is used. Eyelash. Put here. Eyelash. Hey. Okay, these are two different colors, so doesn't matter. Uh, eyelash finish. And check other pictures. Okay. So these are all the color used by the hair. Let's see whether he have a picture have. The eye is bigger. Maybe this one. Okay, let's deal with the eye. I will put here. So from the least, uh, the brightest to the darkest. Okay. Oh, this is the eye. Okay. Should be this one. Okay, finish. Give it some space, maybe I will lose some color. So, every element I will have some space. Okay, so 
check all the pictures and make sure the line is not there. Okay, good. Now let's move to the uh, face or skin. is correct or not yes it's correct and here it is the remaining This one. So where is this one? We don't know. He doesn't have any skin anymore. Okay, I don't. I don't care. I will put this color. Here, I know it's skin, but I don't know where is it. And this must be another skin. Let's test it. Yes, it is. Okay. And I don't know where this is. It must be somewhere. Ah, here. The fingers. Okay. It used so after this we are going to deal with the outfit uh, from the brightest part <laughs> is it this one 
one. Any difference? No difference. I think I missed something. I don't believe these are the only the way. Oh, I think I missed this part. In a part of the outfit. whether have or not so I will uh, leave some space and then move to the next part starting from here for those grain from the priority spot So after that, so 
so it will be these kind of lines. Uh, let me check. So these kind of lines is belongs to what? I think it should belong to this kind of patch. Okay. And here I have some shadows. Okay, same from brightest parts. Clearly here have color separation issue. Thank you. 
last stripe color should be here. Let's move on to the this patch. I believe it has a more than. This is the last to the patch. Okay, you see it's very important to leave some space. color to here and this color will go to here okay. and I mark this is finished
move on to the tire. Now let's move on to the trousers. Uh, from the brightest to darkest. Yeah. Yeah, which is which? Mark is finished. finished and here okay. mark is finished and here Trousers is finished. Okay, next shoes. Actually, the gun have color separation issue. Uh, let's put the gun here. Um, 
apply this to the darkness. Hmm. Another two. Another two. I'm not sure which one is which one. So good. This is next. This is what color. See, there's one color remaining, and I don't know what it is. In. <laughs> uh, okay, so what is this? This is shoe. So uh, oh, it's fifty four fifty five. So it's between these two color. I move this a bit. Okay, here is the palette of this character. Okay, we will save this palette. Uh, I will save it for Photoshop use and not for moving use. So before you save, you can invert all color palette, make it invert. I don't know why Mugen or Fighter Factory want to do this, but you inverted the order and save and that's yeah oh. and this is the default
so for this picture now we can use a new uh, the sort of the one you see this is not sorted so in order to do it you cover back to RGB come back up to RGB then in the exit at the end use custom load that's it uh, different you see this is our sorted out the first one is uh, transparent and then we save it again Now here is a using a um, sorted color, sorted palette. And what we will do is using Photoshop to process all the uh, all the pictures because all those are not using any palette. And we are going to apply the palette to all these pictures. So we will do one. Um, we'll do an experiment. We copy this only one out. Okay. Copy again. And we say actions. So when the picture is loads, we are going to record a marker. For example, we say action one, and we will record because this picture is in RGB. We will go to index. Now, what kind of index we are using? We are using our the palette that we just made. And make sure here is transparent. Just make it transparent. Something wrong. So I should fill all the color gaps. Convert color mode. Now it's indexed. You see here it says indexed. Check again. Here is indexed. Check again. It's indexed. So the next thing is we want to save. Save and close. Not close or close. And stop the recording. Okay. Now we got one full color picture. This is full color picture. It's much bigger than the index one. This is index the picture, full color picture. No quality loss. Okay, so let's try to process this using the Marco. We just select action one and play. You see identical picture. Okay. Now we are going to process the real thing. <coughs> so 
So all these pictures will be processed. up to 103 50 okay select action 1 and hit the play button Okay, done. Let's check the results. Okay. Next, from two hundred, maybe. I hope my computer can handle it. There is a problem. Zero seven three nine zero zero seven. You got clicked too fast. Three nine zero seven. Three o. Okay, let's deal with it later. If something wrong, we can download the sprite again from the internet.
Okay. All done. All done. It should be all indexed. It should be all indexed. Okay. Now let's try to make the a player two palette, which looks like this. Okay. So you can, if you want to do exact copy, you use Photoshop. If you not want to do exact copy, you can just use Fighter Factory. Uh, I will show both. Uh, when you're doing palette, it's highly suggest you use this full picture. Okay. Load this again. So now we know this is air, right? Here looks the same. I don't want to change the face. Looks look the same. The eye looks the same. Eyeball, eyelash, all look the same. I don't want to change. The main difference is the outfit. So I will change uh, here. Color bigger. Okay. blue the mm, blue blue another one I don't want to find anymore so I just copy this color and then make it a little bit darker okay why make it a little bit darker okay. so I don't need to find it color anymore and uh, this is pretty much it it's already identical maybe you want to change a little bit on the gun I don't know I don't know what kind of color the gun need to be um, uh, purple bright purple So this is layer 2, okay. let's say this is uh, default 2, okay. and we need a default 1, we just rename it as default 1. Before one, before two. Okay. So you can also 
apply here here so you can load before one because it's used for Photoshop when you load it it will be inverted so it will be inverted back uh, oh no because this picture is uh, using the not, yeah this picture is uh, convert from the uh, full color picture so it, the color is not sorted so I need to reopen again this this one so load current image from my file map or full this image have index color yes load it no this one and load Player 2 Ok, Player 2 is used by Photoshop So you invert Yeah, now it's working If you want to commit the change You click here Commit change to the current palette Which will change the SFF So let's make another one By using uh, Fighter Factory so maybe you want some different color of the hair and you can change a little bit maybe green turn on the saturation so this is very easy right so you want different colored outfits maybe Maybe green. And too bright. Mm, maybe this looks cooler. I don't know. Or maybe the trousers which one is trousers I forgot already this is what oh this is shit shirt 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 I can give you white shirts turn on the Turn the RGB value up, it will come become brighter. Too bright. Okay. Then the trousers. We greenish. I don't know. Basically, you got the idea. Okay, now this is another part already. So this is the benefit that you sort all the colors. So I I will save for Photoshop use. Okay, I will then invert again, invert again, and save. And say default three. Okay, and basically you can load it the palette here. And you got new one. 
The only difference uh, for Photoshop Palette and uh, the uh, Fighter Factory is the Fighter Factory doesn't save this transparent color. Okay. Then you have to save again. Uh, then this transparent information will be saved. So this is how you can make Palette from uh, scratch